That 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 just that just exploded everywhere. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Brick Science. My name's Riley and today we're gonna be taking some I should not do that. I, I drop everything on the intros. Today we're gonna be making some Lego egg drop contraptions. We're gonna do three of them, one in one minute, one in ten minutes, and one in one hour. So we'll have time limits to be able to build these things, and then we'll see which one will protect the egg the best during dropping it. We're gonna be going up like 10, 20 feet. I'm honestly not sure where we're going yet. And dropping the egg just to see how that works. So the first thing we gotta do is gather some parts and we can get started. Let's do it. All right, in three, two, one. Here we go. It's going, okay. Um, um, <laughs> okay. And then, um, hopefully this will work. Let's go one around the side like this. And then we'll go one around this side. That'll work. Oh, these are some tough tires. Did I crack it? There's something ripped like, oh! Wow, that gives me hope that it's not gonna break. Okay. Oh. All right, despite that small mishap, we're gonna take a few minutes to think and figure out what we're gonna do next. Okay, so plan B for that would be to do the same thing except not crush the egg. There's really nothing else we can do in a minute uh, that I'd like to try, so let's just take another fresh egg. We'll just try that again, I suppose. <laughs> All right, in three, two, one, go. Okay, let's go this, this, that. Let's do this. And then we can, and that'll be less tight. And so if we oh, pinch like that, hey, this might work better. Okay, 31 seconds. Oh crap, that didn't work. Okay, all right, here we go, here we go. 20 seconds. Oh man, um, <laughs> okay, please don't break. Please don't break. 13 seconds, please don't break. I just gotta go for it. Nice, nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so for the first one, officially, we have a bundle of Lego tires. So that'll be fun. Um, honestly, not too hopeful for this one, but let's go test it out, see what happens, and we'll come back and we'll build some more with structure and actual time to put into it and thinking and all that stuff that smart people use on a daily basis. Let's do it. All right, so I got the first one here. <laughs> I don't have much hope for this one, just because, <laughs> I mean, look at it. <laughs> all right, here we go. We're about 20 feet up in the air. Three, two, one. That didn't work. It, it basically exploded. <laughs> Uh, I didn't have much faith for that one. We had one minute to make it, so... All right, let's build the next one. All right, so I got our second egg. I think the plan for this one is to first put a tire around it, just to give it rubber so that when it crashes, the Legos on the outside won't just directly impact this because Legos are hard plastic and this is an egg, so... We got 10 minutes to do this. I'm gonna start the timer and then we'll start building and I'll explain my plan. Please stay. Three, two, one. Okay, we're good. All right, so I need a big tire. Is this a Lego tire? Cannot confirm that's a Lego tire. Okay, 30 seconds have gone by. All right, here we go. First one, we got a little stack. We can compress this quite a bit before it cracks. So we need a container to put it in. We got this. Nice. Nice. Now if we just get another plate on top. I think that's, I think that looks really good. Um, will it work? I don't know, but it looks good. <laughs> so there's that. Just a little worried if it lands on the side, so I'm gonna add some, take this off. Right. Pop that off, I'm just gonna add some side pieces. All right, so now we're putting a few pieces on that can break off easily. 
That way when it hits the ground, man, I always shake during these challenges. That way when it hits the ground, those pieces will take most of the impact. And, oh, 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 this is good, this is good. Okay, so if we have these on the outside and it hits these, they're not gonna hit the egg in the middle, hopefully. How did I have just enough pieces for this? Okay. <laughs> That's basically a satellite. Um, <laughs> nice. Okay. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Here it is. This is the, we're going to call this the vertical drop because we're going to have to drop it vertical. Otherwise, this thing is not going to work. <laughs> I mean, just imagining this going south so hard. Oh, gosh. Okay. All right. We got the second one here. This one took 10 minutes to make. Uh, I got high hopes for this, sorta. I'm gonna drop it straight down, so. All right, three, two, one. That one didn't, that one didn't work as well as I hoped. That, that, that just, that just exploded everywhere. <laughs> Well, I have higher hopes for the third one. Um, all right, let, let's go build that one. All right, so for the third one, the plan is to make it out of Technic alone. Uh, we're gonna have basically like a plus sign and then another plus sign so that every angle, those will break and not the egg. I think that makes sense. Here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna use these pieces, make a bunch of long pieces like that so that none of the ends are facing towards the egg. And we're gonna make the cover for the egg out of Technic pieces like like these here. So let me grab all the pieces we're gonna use. All right, you guys can see right there, it says one hour, zero minutes, and zero seconds. And we're gonna start it in three, two, one, go. Okay, 59 minutes, here we go. All right, so just so you guys understand kind of what's going on, we now have this little shell encased around this, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take poles, and we're gonna take the poles and we're gonna go out on each side so it'll all it'll have all these sticks coming out, so then as soon as it hits the ground at any angle, the sticks will take the brunt of it and will just break. Um, I might break a few Lego pieces, I just realized. Rethinks the entire bit. <laughs> um, all right, let's do this. As you can tell, I'm an absolute pro at this. And here it is. All right, six minutes and 30 seconds left. We just finished it. All right, here we go. Let me give you the rundown real quick and then we'll go test it. Um, everything kind of has springs on it and stuff for shock absorbers, so you can see it kind of bounces. And oh, man, I really think this is gonna work. Um, <laughs> lies. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's go test it. I think we're good to go. All right, we got the third and final one. <laughs> I'm praying real hard this is gonna work. Um, I really think it will if we just have this, this shock absorbed by the bottom part. Uh, all right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, okay, so it cracked. I'm gonna take this part here. Quick fix. Oh, uh, okay, so I just cracked that. But it absorbed it better than the other two. See, there's one crack and then I, I just did that. This egg isn't very strong, dang. Uh, well, we built three of them. Um, it worked out a little less better than I'd hoped, but it did kind of protect the egg. So, let's go back to the studio. Well, they all three broke, so <laughs> uh, basically failed each one of those. However, the third one, I wanna point out, because you guys probably couldn't see it with the camera, but it only cracked, and when I tried to take the thing apart, I pushed my thumb into it, and then that's when it exploded, but it only cracked. So it really did protect that one more than the other two, because the other two just blew up, as you saw. 
Anyway, besides all that, it was a fun experiment. We learned some stuff about Legos. Legos are not good at protecting eggs. They are hard plastic and rubber Legos aren't that great either. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to click those next two videos that show up on the screen in just a second. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of our future uploads and hit the bell icon so you'll get notified when we upload. So I'll talk to you in the next Brick Science.